वेलकम टू एस एस टी कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड कॉमर्स एंड वेलकम टू एस एस टी एडुपीडिया आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मनमीत कौर विल कंटिन्यू विद द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ रूरल मार्केटिंग इन दैट वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ मॉड्यूल थ्री विच इज़ रूरल मार्केटिंग मिक्स द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल विल बी मार्केटिंग मिक्स एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ प्रोसेस ऑफ एस टी पी which is segmentation targeting and positioning the product in rural market then product management branding packaging and labeling of the product and lastly we will learn about price management this all is concentrated for rural market so what is marketing mix basically we have learned about four p's of marketing which are product price place and promotion but as the time passes we have learned that there are seven p's which is product price place promotion the additional three p's are people physical environment and the process firstly we have to see that what our product idea is the product is what we are going to offer the consumers so the product should offer all the attributes for satisfying the needs of the consumer secondly the price the price of the commodity should be reasonable it should not exploit the consumers and especially in rural market the prices should be reasonable and acceptable to the rural consumers place the distribution or the availability of the product to the consumer should be the place of the convenientness to the consumer so the place should be kept in the consideration the promotion how we are promoting the product how we are making the product available to the consumer how we are spreading the awareness for the product these were the four basic p's the additional is people you know mouth publicity we talk about a product we promote it in that way whether we are giving a positive response or a negative response whatever feedback we give the feedback is hidden in the conversation of people between people between a group of people so as we do whether positive or negative we do mouth publicity of the product which is part of people physical environment for consumption of the product and lastly the process the process from production to the consumption and then later on the satisfaction of the product the satisfaction of the product from the consumer the feedback as we say the process of production to the consumption and even after that if the uh, product is of durable condition durable type then appliances may be the example that we can take so after sale service needs to be provided that is also included in the process so these were the marketing mix we need to frame the marketing mix in such a way that our product is acceptable and it sustains in the market segmentation now segmentation is what the division or dividing the product or we divide the audience we target the audience and then we divide for example lower class middle class where higher class the upper class where luxury products will be acceptable so that will be promoted in higher class so accordingly we will split the audience for our convenience we will frame the marketing strategy in that way and we will do the further process it refers to splitting up the audiences based on observable people based differences differences can be of any kind whether they prefer it or not uh, income factor occupation factor consumption factor all these factors are taken into consideration when we do the segmentation family size occupation literacy rate all these things are taken under the consideration segmentation a market in a market according to demographics there are many sectors many factors parameters on which we segregate combining demographic segmentation with other types can help you to narrow down the process 
uh, there is geographically we can divide according to the location according to the demographic according to the behavior of the consumers we can divide the audience into many factors market segmentation as i said can be geographically means location wise country city district language what area and what kind of uh, population they hold demographics can be age gender income education the family size the social status occupation standard of living and we have psychographic parameter like what are the activities interest opinions many a times the basic uh, social media that we use or the uh, mass media platform that we use youtube when we when we uh, try to uh, watch a video maybe between the video or during the uh, during uh, when we start the video we come up with advertisements or we uh, receive a pop up of a survey so there we give some kind of feedback which is used for marketing that is a marketing survey that is done so there we put up a preference that what product we have seen more often what what product we prefer or what is our feedback to a certain product so these matters affect then we have lastly behavioral here the benefits sought purchase usage intent all these things matter how a consumer is responding to our product that comes under behavioral parameter so these were the four parameters on the basis of which we segment or split the market area next we have positioning now once we have different groups of segmented audience now we will try to position our product over there so for example a luxury car that we need to uh, do the promotion of so we will target that audience who is more into luxurious things who are upper class and who prefer or have the capability to purchase if we uh, promote or we try to promote the uh, luxurious car in rural market area no one will give any interest to it so once the segmentation is done the next process is positioning we will position and how we will position the product first we will do identification for identification of your target audience where we want to go if the product is very nominal thing a consumable product so we we can market that product in all the segments where all the groups can afford it but if i gave an example of um, luxury car that can be promoted to all the groups emphasize what makes the brand unique then you have to make sure that you position your product in such a way that no substitute or no competitor can be sat can be enoughly satisfied so emphasize your brands and your product in such a way that that satisfies everything and it is unique in all the ways then a brand positioning statement you have to give a statement or you can give a logo or a slogan to your product which promotes it then test your statement whether your statement is making the response of the audience positive or not so once segmentation is done you can do the positioning in the best way possible positioning is the process of creating a distinct mental position now if i am uh, satisfied with a with a particular brand of mobile phones so that position of the brand is set in my mind that i will use this product only so you have to make certain image you have to leave the impact of your product and brand in such a way that you have brand loyalty of the consumers image of a product or a service in the mind of customers as compared to other brands positioning helps to create unique image you have to be very innovative and created creative when you are doing a positioning every marketer considers the brand position as one of the most important aspects of overall brand creation this is a element which occurs when the brand is being born so when the brand process is going on then also we already have a image or a impact in the consumers mind that this brand will satisfy the wants or this is 
attractive. Next, we have targeting. One segmentation and second one, our uh, positioning is done. Then we have to just follow the position. We have to just go on to target the audience. So what we will do, target is the process through which advertiser identifies its target audience and then advertises to them through various channels. We need to reach out all possible consumers in rural market. So we will take our efforts in such a way that we perform those activities as earliest and in efficient way. By constructing the right user persona, understanding user habit, the habits of the user should be considered and accordingly we will target the audience. So segmentation, it makes sense to the market where we have a particular thing in front of us that for now I will uh, concentrate on this segment of the market only. On that I will work, I will target and I will position the market in uh, the position the product in the market in such a way. Targeting, it decides the best customers to serve and positioning, we try to stand out in the crowd. Next, we have product management. Now, all these things, segmentation, targeting, positioning is done. Now, we have to manage the product. We have to keep coming up with R&D. We have to keep coming up with innovative ideas, upgrading your product, giving more facilities and uh, uh, adding to the service. We will try to do that so that we sustain in the market. Product management is an organizational function that guides every step of product life cycle. So the life cycle is what product firstly is introduced in the market. Then it goes through two or three phases. One, it is, it raises, it becomes some commodity in the market when it has earned some customers. And then it goes to the peak point where the demand is highest and the supply is also satisfactory. But when after the peak segment, after the peak stage, there comes many competitors. Then competitors and substitutes to the product makes your product to fall down where you face loss. So this product cycle from development to positioning to pricing and to satisfying the needs. All these things needs to be done under product management and needs to be done in a smooth and systematic reoccurring way. To build the best possible product, product manager advocate for customers within the organization and make sure the voice of the market is heard. We make sure that the voice of the consumers reach to us whether they have some grievances, suggestions and we try to take that as a positive feedback. The day-to-day -day task include a wide variety of strategic and tactical duties. We have to make sure that product of ours sustains in the market. How it will sustain when we keep on doing the research. This is a continuous process. We have to make sure that all the uncertainties that occurs during our product life cycle, we should have some or the other kind of provision to face it. Most product managers or product owners do not take all, the, all of these responsibilities. So they have to make sure that companies and the product are manufactured, are framed properly. The strategy of 4 Ps of STP is followed properly. The next we have branding. Branding is something which starts from the identity of the product. We have to build a identity of the product in such a way that it stands out. It should showcast the attributes, features, the value of the product that it can give to the potential consumers. Strategy of marketing, positioning, communication, advertising, all these things covers under branding is a process of creating a strong and positive perception of overall company to the consumers. It products, it, it can deliver a service also or a commodity or a product. 
it should satisfy the customers and in that way it will sustain in customers mind also so a certain image will build accordingly branding in store can be very different to online branding digitalization has brought online branding also as a store as in store you can see different brands you can feel the product you can see the different aspects the product may give you but in online branding you can only scroll the images or the videos you can't really feel it you can't see the material or anything so online and in store branding differs in such a way and it has its own pros and cons packaging packaging means wrapping or bottling of the product which safeguards the product until it reaches the consumers so it make them safe from the damage during transportation and storages it keeps a product safe during the marketable situations also packing is separation of product or commodity for proper storage whether we are doing a transportation or we are displaying it also we need to display and we need to have the packaging even the packaging needs to be very attractive and different from other things then we have labeling labeling or using a label is describing what the product holds what the product contents are in consumable the products which we eat we try to check the back side of the package where the contents of the product are given that can be of the uh, maybe if we take about take a example of chips packet then the back side of it shows that spices potato salt this content of oil etc are used so labeling helps us in that packaging and labeling go hand in hand then we have price management the price of the product holds main main position for the producer or the company also or for the consumer also for producers it shows it emphasizes the concept of the profit which they expects in return so if price is set the cost and price are different cost is what we have incurred during the production and price is what when we add cost plus profit or profit margin so price management is the most effective way to manage the balance between financial risk and revenue financial risk may be that we have the uncertainty we don't have the demand so we should have some kind of provision for it and revenue gives for the continuous cycle of it the operating cycle it is managing product pricing being able to identify upsell or cross opportunity however attempting price management with internally developed spreadsheets and database we use n number of database and tools to make sure that price is managed and price is set is in such a way that it gives the best output to the producers and to the consumer so price setting and holistic way means an overall broader way to see that program contract pricing the promotion of it the inquiries of it quoting and analysis first we have to make sure what our product holds as if the product has many substitutes or competitions so we may see or we may feel like to give the product some reasonable price or lower price to sustain or to attract the consumers so all the pricing strategies and all the elements needs to be considered very considerably so in this module we learned that how a rural marketing mix plays an very important role in rural market thank you